Hi guys, in this tutorial we take a look at how to create a movable mouth with a mask layer. With this tutorial, you'll find that we have three group layers in our layers panel. This is because we did three separate tutorials with the same document, so only focus on the top group layer. Secondly, we already have a character face on screen. He is a red-headed man, and I hope to God Jim doesn't think I look like this. So with that said, let's get started. As you can see, we have a group layer for this head, and that is important. Make sure you have a group layer with a vector inside of it for your head. And then we will go to New Layer, choose Vector, and then we can rename it Mouth, and then hit Enter. So now, the first thing we'll do is select the Draw Shape tool and zoom in here, and we are going to select the Rectangle tool. We're going to make the teeth first for the mouth. So we'll come in here, make one rectangle, and then the other. We'll take the Select Shape tool, select the top rectangle, color it white, same with the bottom, and then we can go back to that Draw Shape tool, select the Oval tool, and come in here now, and we're just going to draw out a big oval. It doesn't matter if it overlaps, kind of center it a little bit, select it with our Select Shape tool, and then color it black. Now it's going to be above the teeth, select it and hit the down arrow a couple times to reveal the teeth above the mouth. Now we'll draw the tongue with the oval tool. So we'll place it kind of right by the teeth, select it and choose red for the color. And same principle, select that and hit down a couple times to make sure that it goes below the teeth but above the mouth. So now we can take the translate points tool and just adjust the teeth a little bit here. We're just going to bring those top points outward. Same for the bottom teeth, the bottom points outward as well. And now we will create the mask layer, the one that will be doing the magic. So we can make a new vector layer and name this mask. Now make sure that the mask is below the mouth and above the head. That is very important for this to work. Now what we'll do is select that mask layer, take the add point tool, and we're going to come in and just add some points to create a mouth shape. So we'll add some points here and there to create an oval, and then we can take the curvature tool and bring some things in like so to kind of create a smiling face, and we can move it down like so. Now we need a shape for this, it doesn't matter what color, we just need it. So what you'll do is you'll come over here to your Create Shape tool and just click. You won't be able to see anything because the mask is below the mouth. But we're about to change all this here right now. So what we'll do is double click on that group layer, come over here to the Masking tab. We are going to Hide All and hit Apply. Now. Coming over here to your mouth, we're going to be in that masking tab and we are going to click mask this layer, so that's fine, as is. For the mask layer itself, we will click the add to mask button. Now you'll see here Jim made a mistake, he didn't actually apply, so we'll cover that here in a moment. And also for the last, for the head, we don't want to mask that layer, so we'll hit apply. And as you can see, the mask isn't working because Jim forgot to apply the mask when he created it. And this is kind of a good opportunity just to show you guys that even small mistakes like this can lead to problems. So it might require some trial and error if you do have that little mistake. But he discovered it, and you just have to go back into that mask layer, click it again, and hit apply. So once you have done that, you can now come in here and you can see that this is working. We can now adjust this so that the mouth is positioned so that it looks you know, correct in comparison to the mouth pieces. And we also have a thing here where we don't have an outline occurring. And if this is something that you don't want to occur, what you can do is come over here to the mask, double click, 
go to masking and choose exclude strokes and then hit apply. That will remove the strokes from the mask and as you can see we are now good to go with that. Now it's all a matter of just adjusting your mouth so that you're happy with it. What's also good about this point is you can now work with this and create different mouth movements. So you can see we just did a render with control R and it's looking good. So you could just continue to tweak the mouth and then you just move your mouth assets as you move along here. As an example, let's say you wanted an O shape for the mouth. You can come in here and just adjust the points to create that O shape. And then come over here to your mouth. Then you just move the teeth. And then you can move the tongue. And you're good to go. You can see it looks good. So when you do the masking like this, as opposed to just making a mouth on a layer, you know, and trying to animate it out, this really does help because it allows you to move things around with more freedom without any fear of hitting any, I would say, walls in terms of what you can do with the mouth. And from here, you could just animate the mouth out with keyframes. You could create actions for the mouth and have those actions preset so you could just add those in whenever you want for different phonemes as an example and so on. But anyway, this has been a joint incredible tutorial. My name is Chad Trofgerben. Jim Mills recorded the tutorial. If you'd like more tutorials, you can visit IncredibleTutorials.com. We are also on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, if you don't have Anime Studio, check out the link in the description box so that you can follow along with this tutorial and create some amazing animations. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.